excited to be with you today. My name is Miss Kiki, and we're going to have an amazing time as we worship together. Well, our Bible story today is found in Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 through 8. We're talking about humility, and humility is putting others first, even by giving up what you think you deserve. And I know that you guys are going to live that out in your daily life. Our bottom line today is put others first because Jesus put others first. Well, let's get ready to worship. So let's stand up on our feet and count down to worship. Ready? Three, two, one.
If I look or sound funny today, my shirt's really tight, and I'm afraid if I breathe out, I'll pop a button. I gotta breathe! <sighs> today, I'm gonna talk to you about humility. Humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. One of the ways I like to put... <clears throat> One of the ways I like to put others first So you're probably thinking that the smart thing to do would be to change shirts. Well, I already tried that, but none of my shirts fit today or any of my clothes. At first I thought maybe I had gained a little weight. I mean, I have been eating a lot of mustard filled donuts lately, but even my shoes don't fit. And I don't think I gained any weight in my feet. Almost got it, almost. Or my head. I don't know what's happening right now. Wait a second. I bet one of my friends is playing another April Fool's Month surprise on me. <laughs> they switched all my clothes with smaller versions of my clothes. Man, that's elaborate. I gotta do something now. That's the rules of April Fool's Month. Somebody does something to me, I've gotta do something back. Something big. Something that's never been done before. I'll put a bucket of confetti over the door. So whoever walks through will get a bucket of confetti all over them. Yeah, Jake, you're a genius. Nope. Easy, boy. So, today's story is about how we should treat people like they're more important 
than we are. I can't wait to try that after I prove to everyone that I'm the best at April Fool's Month surprises. Yeah. Oh. oh. How many buttons does this thing have? Well, of all the wonderful things he could have... Hey, why did you get me a present, which is something I'm sure I'm gonna like? Because you keep doing things to deserve it. That's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. Oh yeah? Well, there's more where that came from. You're funny. Oh, thank you. You're nice. I appreciate and that. And you are a good person. So are you! I know you really mean that. You know what? You're always here by my side and I never get sick of you. I'm so glad to hear it. Read my lips, you're the nicest friend a guy could have. You know what, Ooh. you know what, just open that. Open it, I wanna see the look on okay, your face. Okay, I will. Open it. Oh, oh, you got me a new game system before you bought yourself one. That's so touching. I'm so glad you like it. You wanna play it? I would love to. Oh. This is awesome. I know! Beautiful people out there, I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and you're watching The So-and-So -and -so Show. I don't know if you folks out there know this, but John and I each take turns deciding what we want to do on the show each week. Yeah, yeah, every other week I plan stuff, and every other, every other week, Brandon plans stuff. Right, and this week is my, my week. week. What? Do -do -do -do. And today I have planned a show that's all about diving deep into a soul. Oh, that's great. But, a show about discovering life-changing truths. Yeah, again, but, but first. Let's play a meaningless game. What? Meaningless game. Yes. John, you can't do a meaningless game because this week Oh, okay, is actually fine, fine. Then it's time for a meaningful game. Okay, let's play your game. I'm sure it'll be great. Why, thank you, friend. You know what? I'll say the same thing when it's your turn to play a game next week. Actually, now that you mentioned Let's go play! All right, what's this meaningful game? It's a game called Flip It! Flip it. <laughs> How many times are we gonna do that? How many times? As many as John wants. As many as I want. I'm sorry I asked. No problem. <laughs> Let's play. Okay, great. Underneath each of these claws is an item that has been flipped up a side of down. Mm. All you have to do is identify what it is. Oh, am I the only one playing? Yep. Why? Because it's my day to make the show and what I says uh, is. Oh, 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 don't want you cheating either, so blindfold okay. on. Boom. I'm not gonna cheat. I'm gonna close no, my you're eyes. You're not gonna cheat? Okay. Okay. Here is your first item. Right there. What is that? <laughs> it's like an octopus tentacle. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I know what it is. Is it a bath mat? Uh, yes! Yeah, Very right. good! Great job! On okay. to our next one! On to our next one. I right, really don't want to do this. No, 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 no. no. It's my day. I know. Play. It's fine. Fine. Okay. I'm, I'm doing blah, 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 blah. it. Here we go. Right there. Gross. Is this going to make me sick touching it? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I don't know what it is. It's like a... Like an elephant... I or oh, something? No, that'd be gross. Yeah, but that would be really cool, though. Oh, it's kinda... oh. Is it like a mushroom? Oh yes, absolutely. Oh, you got it. Good job. All right. Stalk has been cut off. Okay, one more. One, one more. more. One okay, more. Okay. All right, I'm gonna bring it over here. All right, All right. Do are we ready for this? Yeah, no, 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 no. Is this, this the last one? one? My, day, my day. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay. <laughs> it's yuck. It's a wet sponge. <laughs> it's not? It feels like no. Oh, gross. What was that? Something. Can I? Sure, sure. If you want. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Is that pineapple upside down cake? Oh, wrong! It's an upside down pineapple upside down cake. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> or maybe we should call it, maybe we should call it a pineapple right side up cake. <laughs> 
Game over! Hey, uh, I'm getting the feeling that you're a little grumpy. No, I'm not. I just don't understand how that game was supposed to be meaningful. Okay, well, I wouldn't be this grumpy if it were your week to plan stuff. So. Yeah, about that. It's not action. Oh, hey, hey, I almost forgot. It's Bubble Story Time with Kellen. What's up, my friends? How's it going? Couldn't be better, Kellen. Although, just between the two of us, Brandon is a little grumpy. It's not between the two of you if I can hear you. See what I mean? I can still hear you. I'm sorry, did you say something? Hey, Kellen, what do you got for us today? An app. Oh, like for our phones? Yup, and it's called Humble Pie. That never gets old. No? Hmm. This app is gonna help me tell today's Bible story, along with you guys. You want us to download the app? If you would. Hmm. Oh, done. Okay. Yeah, but you, almost, you good? Almost got it. Just gotta, loading. Got it. Okay. Open them up and watch what happens. Okay. Wow! This is really cool, Kellen. Hey, I can see Brandon. Hey, Brandon. It's like you're sitting next to me. <laughs> How do we play, Kellen? Actually, before we play, check this out. Excuse me, gents. The Apostle Paul wrote a bunch of letters in what we call the book of Philippians. Paul wrote this. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourselves. As you deal with one another, you should think and act as Jesus did. And how did Jesus act? Let's continue. Babu! In his very nature, he was God. But Jesus didn't take advantage of that fact. Instead, he made himself nothing. He did this by taking on the nature of a servant. He was humble and obeyed God completely. He did this even though it led to his death. Even worse, he died on the cross. Are you still there, fellas? Yep. You betcha. Why do I look like a bunny rabbit? You have a filter on. I have a what? You have a filter, filter on here, right here. Huh. All right. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Continue, Kellen. Great. Here's how you play. For each scenario I give you, you have to decide if you're going to put yourself first or if you're going to be humble. Simple, right? Sure, but I, I don't think either of us will pick what's selfish. <laughs> mm, good point. Maybe one of you should volunteer as the non-humble player. Sure, I'll help you out, Kellen. Oh. Perfect. All right, here we go. First scenario. You're running late for work. On your way, you see a lady drop her groceries. Do you stop to help her? Yes. I'll say no. Humble pie! <laughs> what happened? Where did that pie come from? Uh. <sighs> I forgot to mention in this app, it involves virtual reality. Virtual? Look at my face! Is it, wait, is this a filter? No! Second scenario. You had plans to see the new superhero movie, but a friend needs your help instead. Do you help him? Yes. How about you? No. Humble pie! <laughs> Come on! Hey, you gotta eat the humble pie when you don't put others first, Brando. True. Although, I must say, he's being pretty humble already. How's that? Well, he's letting himself get hit in the face with a pie when you know it's his week. Uh, what are you talking about? Well, this is his week to plan the show, right? No. Wait. No? Are you sure? Is that true? Yeah. Uh, why didn't you say something to me? If you would have said something, I would have listened. Well, I tried, but every time- Are we gonna finish this game or what? Um, I mean, well. Third scenario. Okay. Go ahead. You wanna watch soccer on TV, but your little sister really wants to watch cartoons. Do you let her watch? Yes. Say no. Say no. Fine. 
No. Humble pie! <laughs> that was awesome. Mm. Yeah. Thanks, John. Yeah, that's not bad. Well, I'm not sure who won the game, but mm. I think the point's the same. Jesus put people first. He gave his life for us. We should do our best to think and act like Jesus did. Even if that means every once in a while giving up what we want or what we think we deserve. And even if it means taking the occasional pie to the face. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, thanks, man. Anytime. I'll see you guys around. Bye, man. You know, these towels never fail. I know. And they don't stain. <laughs> so... So... Dude, I can't believe you just gave up a show that was rightfully yours and just let me ramble on like that. Yeah. You would never use so many graphics. Never. Never! Well, maybe just one more. What? Reveal the question! What keeps you from putting others first? Well, you could be easily distracted like, has that mannequin always been over there? Talk about it with each other. What keeps you from putting others first? Oh, man, I, I, I feel so bad. Don't beat yourself it. up. Hey, maybe you can make it up to me by letting me plan the next two shows in a row. Deal! <laughs> Thank you. Until next time, I'm Brandon. And I think that mannequin is getting closer. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. So the bucket of confetti is set. As soon as someone walks through the door, the bucket will fall and they'll get covered in confetti. But let me think for a second, because something doesn't quite fit right. I'm supposed to think and act like Jesus did when he was here. Well, how did he think and act? Jesus is like God's only son, but instead of staying in some big heavenly castle, he came here as a baby and then grew up serving people helping people who are sick, teaching people who wanted to learn. Then he died for us and came back to life. So how did Jesus think? He thought that people mattered a whole lot. And how did he act? He loved and served and gave up everything for people. He gave up what he deserved for me. And you know the rules. Somebody does something for me, I've got to do something back. So, so I took the confetti myself, so no one else would have to. I mean, it's not even a big deal. I like confetti. And these aren't even my clothes. Ugh. Ugh. Sometimes putting others first gets a little messy. But you know what? That's okay. You don't put others first because it's easy. You should put others first because that's what Jesus did for you. That's the one thing I learned today. Put others first because Jesus put you first. I'm gonna say that over and over again, so I'll remember. Put others first, cause Jesus put you first. Put others first, cause Jesus put you first. Love others, cause Jesus loved others. Like your family, your friends, your brothers, your sisters, your mother, your gardener. Put others first, cause Jesus put you first. Man, I feel like brand new. It's like putting on a fresh pair of clothes, except clothes that actually fit. Oh, I'm gonna need to change. I am getting confetti in my lungs. See you next time. No. Not one. What? I, what? I, yeah, it's all about you. Oh, oh. Hey there, I'm MC Haggis, and this here is my beatboxing partner, Seamus McFamous. You know, the time I introduced myself as the world's greatest Scottish rapper because, well, I am. Right, Seamus? Right. right. But you wouldn't know it based on social media. I've been checking out all the sites like Facegram and Snaptude and Instagrits. 
And you think you'd see my name all over the place, right? Well, I should be what they call uh, blending. Aye. Oh, trending, trending, not, not blending. Right, thank you, Seamus. Anywho, I've been searching and searching and finding people commenting on how much they love Seamus and not one word about me. I mean, I'm the front man. I'm the poster boy for the Scottish rappers in northern Swineshire County. I should be the one going vinyl. Aye. The viral. Right, right, right. I, you see, I'm, I'm so upset, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I even forgot to tell everyone what we're learning about today. Aye. What, what, what are you telling me there? Aye. Oh, yeah, humility. Right. And that means putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Something like that. And another thing, why aren't I... Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute, I, I get it now. I, I, I just had to hear our definition of humility to uh, realize something. Seamus deserves this social media phenomena that he's become. He's, he's, he's dedicated to his craft. And, and a true artiste. Yes, you are. You are, sir. And here I was taking all the... Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. All right. Now, there's no need to get all mushy or, or punch me. Okay. Let's, let's just show off those mad beatboxing skills while we rap about humility. Kick it. We all need to truly see life is not only about me. Use the special ability of putting others first, even when you think you deserve to be first. That's humility. Word. <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot. What you got there? Oh, look at this. Seamus is putting me first. What? Hashtag make MC Haggis go viral. You see that, my friends? That's humility. You're such a good friend, Seamus. Hey, hey, look, look, I'm starting to spend. Aye. Oh, trend. Trend, look at that. Make him see her girls go viral. Does, uh, does, what does a hashtag do? Huh? 